Tinibu is a culprit, as Bishop Hooker leaks what people will be said after he was asked how to tackle this. Breaking news. Hello, guys. Welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, everybody knows uh, Bishop Hooker. You know, who is a popular uh, Catholic bishop we have in the country. We love, love, love speaking about political, uh, political matters and, you know, societal issues that are actually happening within the country. You know, he has been in the political system as an activist and uh, as a, a critic of the government for over how many years. Now, he's one of the people that held uh, Buari to be accountable. Like, uh, he was among the people that held Buari for, uh, to accountability and all that. And, you know, he has come out today, as a matter of fact, to leak and review what P2B said. And, you know, in what P2B said, Tidibu was equally a culprit in this particular thing that P2B said. And I, I must tell you, for the, if I'm going to play a video, for you to listen carefully to what uh, this man, Bim Bishop uh, Hooker, actually said, I can boldly tell you this for free. You know, Nigeria is in a very big problem. In the next four years, only God knows what could have happened because the family that was elected as the president, you know, is it's something else. I'm going to play the video. When we come back, we'll try to analyze everything that Bishop Buka said uh, on concerning what people told him how to tackle this particular it's not problem. about one individual. It's about the quality of the service delivery vehicles and the drivers of this vehicle. That's why I said somebody must have the courage and the confidence to dismantle this, how will I call it? Because it's become, it's a weapon. I mean, it's, diff it's difficult with the kind of political class that if we you have, have the country. will, let me, you know what Peter will be saying. If you have the, Peter will be saying, look, they ask you, how do you fight corruption? He said, if I'm not stealing, my wife is not stealing, my children are not stealing, matter is finished. The question is, sometimes people get into power taking too many loans, and I mean loan, both financial and intentionally. By the time you get there, you are overwhelmed. Because all these People are creeping. And let me tell you, most people that come to see you as president or governor, they mean well for themselves, not for you, even you yourself. So that is why the quality of a president is also determined by the kind of alternative voices that he's listening to. You know, so people, when you when you get to a situation where people think that, oh, okay, Bishop Kuka is always abusing us, Bishop Kuka is always quarreling with us, which is fine by me, but... I have paid my dues. If it is this country, I've spent over 40, almost 40 years of talking. Let me put it that way. So that's not my problem. The point is that a president must be ready to sift, and do not himself, because this is where the whole question of special advisors comes in. Now you have you people appoint special, there are governors with 1,000 special advisors, and they say you appoint these special advisors because look, there is the only way to keep the, keep the boys quiet. But in reality, there's a young man, uh, George Stephanopoulos. He was president uh, by the uh, Clinton's spokesman at the beginning. Stephanopoulos published his biography. And one of the things he said, which caught my attention, he said, look, here he was. For him, the source of his power was that. What gave him pleasure and was he ready to spend sleepless nights was that. After Hillary, he was the first person Clinton would see in the morning. Because whenever Clinton walked, to finish, he would see him. He would have spent the whole night going through the newspapers, the things the president needs to know before he sits in the office in the morning. But the average Nigerian office holder is surrounded by cousins, by nephews, by friends, by, by all kinds of characters, and they follow you when you step out of your bedroom. And they follow you till you enter your bedroom at night, which is about five o'clock in the morning. And then you wake up the next day and you continue. So I think that, and I hope because President Tinubu was always famous for being a good, how would I put it? A pointer. So from the video, you could see that we are Bishop Puka was giving accolades and revealing what P2B told him. That P2B said that in order to tackle corruption in our political system, that if you can stop yourself from stealing, if you can stop your and you stop your wife and you stop your children from stealing, that that has solved the problem, and this is the truth. You will have greedy politicians in the country that, that have actually you know emptied our treasury because they want to you know uh, 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 ensure that their family is well fed with taxpayers' money. You know when people came out the other day and said that in well developed nations that the president will pay for the meal and dishes and everything that he spends and everything apart from the uh, the, the rightful ones that is actually enshrined in the constitution. But people started doubting it. In Nigeria, we saw governors spending billions of naira in meals for themselves because they are using taxpayers' money to feed and you know uh, feed large and you know live a luxurious life and all sorts of things. You could hear what Bishop Buka said. That P2B is right when he said that if you can stop yourself, stop your wife, and stop your uh, children from stealing, that no, no other person will steal. Now look at Tinibu. Just few months that he became the president of this country, 
he awarded about how many billions for a fleet of cars for the unconstitutional office of his wife. There's nothing in the constitution that like the office of the first lady, but he awarded fleet of cars to that particular office and all that, wasting taxpayers' money unconstitutionally. Because that is his wife. If you all could remember, uh, Sheikh Tinibu has been moving up and down with uh, Nigeria's pre uh, presidential jets, traveling to, for personal occasions with Nigeria presidential jets. And this is the rascality and the corruption that P2B was saying that if you can stop your wife and your children from actually, you know, uh, be, uh, 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 you know, eating part of eating part of taxpayers money, uh, or in the name of presidents and everything, that you've solved part of the corruption. And if you extend this to state governors, if all the state governors and if all uh, uh, the political class and senators and everybody could stop their wives and their children from actually, you know, uh, taking money or probably uh, 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 feeding from taxpayers' money, that the corruption in this country must actually be uh, must have actually been eradicated in a very high extent or to a very, a very high level. This is what Bishop Pukuka is saying because he knows everybody knows that P2B had the first knowledge idea and the first hand idea to solve most of the problems we have in this country. I can boldly tell you this for free. But people decided to vote across ethnic and religious lines. You could see here this Bishop Puka referring to what P2B say and telling that this is one of the ways or one of the best ways to shut down corruption and to bring it down and to eradicate corruption in our political system, which which has been ravishing and destroying uh, our single uh, 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 treasury and the money uh, and the revenue that we've been generating. You could imagine a state that is generating revenue. At the end of the day, the, the revenue will enter into the pockets of people's causes or politicians' causes, causes and all that. And this money that are in, and this money and revenue are part of taxpayers' money, and it cannot be utilized in a in a meticulous or in a, in a judicious way. You know, people are this in just the beginning. You know, he was saying this because I believe indirectly he knew what he was saying that Tinibu, as a matter of fact, he has been surrounded by his family. If you could remember, his daughter is actually the first daughter of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the first daughter of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, giving herself uh, an unconstitutional office. Just a daughter of a so called president has given herself a position, a political position. Sayyid Tinibu has given himself a position. That is why he's moving around with presidential jets and even attending Federal Executive Council meeting when he had no when he has no position or office. And this is exactly the same thing P2B has been saying. You could hear Bishop Kuka affirming to what uh, 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 P2B said initially. Well, I'd like to drop your comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about this development.